So now that we know how to output data to the terminal using Cout, we're now going to look at how we can take in data from the user input through the terminal. And just like an output stream, an input stream is a library that, or a class that allows you to create objects which can take in data from the terminal. And um, like Cout, within IOStream we also have an object called CIN. And CIN is an input stream object and what it does is it allows the user to type in some characters into the terminal and then we can then take in that data and until they press enter it will collect whatever they type in. So if we want to do that, what we can do is say stdc in. Again, it's a member of the std namespace. And again, this will allow the user to type in some data and then until they press enter, it will collect that data. And if we want to save this to a variable, for example, so let's say we want to collect a number from the user, what we can do is declare an integer like this and then just feed the input from the um, input stream to the variable x like this. And again, we're using this insertion operator here this time, but um, you can notice that its, its direction is towards the right. And this operator always shows the direction of data flow. So last time we had a go, we had the hello world string going to the left, but this time we have the data from the input stream going into the variable x. So the arrows point to the right because it's moving from the input stream to the variable x. So let's try compiling this and running this and see what it looks like. So if I compile this and then I run this, we can see that as of right now the program doesn't do anything because it's allowing us to type in whatever we want into here. And whatever we want into here, it will attempt to create or turn it into an integer to put into this variable x. Remember, this is memory that's been reserved for an integer. So even if I put something in like this, um, it will just store zero because that's the default integer value. But if I were to put a number like 749, what happens is that integer x will now contain this number right here. And it just returns, it just exits out because it returns zero like this. But we can make improve this a little bit more. So let's say something like, we'll print to the screen, um, um, let's say something like how old are you so I'm just going to do a new line here and then say how old are you like this it doesn't really matter this is just a demo and then do a new line so the user will type in their um, age in a new line and I can just put a semicolon here and then what I can do is do something like that should be C out um, STD And what I can do is I can just print the variable x which contains their age. So I can say something like you are, I should probably do a new line here actually. You are, and then a space. And you can insert multiple bits of data into the Cout to print it all. So I can insert x in here. And then what I can do is um, put another string in here. And I can say something like years old, like this. So again, what this what this line does is it basically feeds to the output um, this string you are, then it feeds the x, and then it feeds the years old, and it will print anything it receives. So it will print out all of that. Um, not sure what's happening here. Undefined. Oh, I forgot the two colons right here. So let's try all running all of that now. So. If I recompile this and then do demo, you can see that it asks the question, how old are you? So if I put something like 20 into here, you can see that it prints out, you are 20 years old. Again, we can further improve this by adding some new lines here and here. So if I try this again, how old are you? I can put 20. And this 20 gets saved to this variable x right here. And then once and then down here it gets fed along with this string to the output, and that's why it gets printed right here. So that's basically how you capture you um user input using stdc in.